Hello students, welcome back to Bree's Practical English. Today we're going to talk about the difference between unlike and dislike. Do you know the difference? Stay tuned and we'll find out. But first, if you're interested in any of my courses, you can check them out at breezeenglishstudio.com. I'll link to it. Uh, all you have to do is become a member and then you can get access to all of my courses over there. Or you can become a member on YouTube and depending on the level of member, some courses will be available over here too. Okay, first up, let's talk about unlike. We use unlike to show difference or contrast. Unlike is a preposition and it means different from or not similar to. It's used to compare two or more things, highlighting their differences. Let's look at a few examples. Unlike his brother, John likes playing sports. This means that John's brother doesn't really enjoy playing sports, but John does. So they are different. Unlike the rainy weather we had last week, today is sunny and warm. Here I'm comparing the weather from last week to today. Last week it was rainy, today is sunny. They are different. Okay, last one. Unlike many other animals, kangaroos move around by hopping on their hind legs. Again, here we are comparing kangaroos to other animals. So kangaroos are different than other animals because they move around on their hind legs. Hind means back, on their back legs. So remember, unlike has nothing to do with preferences or feelings. It's strictly about pointing out differences between people, things, and situations. So if we look at the word unlike, it looks like it's pretty easy to understand, right? We know that un means not. And like, we like ice cream, we like cats and dogs. If you like something, you have a preference for it. However, unlike has nothing to do with your preference or your feeling. It's strictly about pointing out differences in people, things, and situations. I know it's confusing, but just remember that tip. Then we have dislike. We know dis also means um, not or the opposite of something, right? Dis also means not. So this one, dislike, means to not like something. We use it when we're expressing a negative feeling. Dislike is a verb. And like we've explained, it means to not like. It expresses a negative feeling or a lack of enjoyment towards someone or something. Let's take a look at a few examples. I dislike eating grapefruits because of their sour taste. This means I don't like grapefruits. She dislikes loud music because it gives her a headache. She does not like loud music. She does not enjoy loud music. He dislikes getting up early on weekends. This simply means he doesn't like to get up on the weekends. He wants to sleep in. So remember, we use dislike to talk about our personal feelings. It can be followed directly by a noun. For example, I dislike grapefruit or by a gerund. He dislikes waking up early. Sometimes you can find both of these words in the same sentence. For example, Unlike her sister, Mary dislikes chocolate. So here, unlike compares Mary and her sister, showing that they have a different feeling towards chocolate. And dislike shows that Mary doesn't like chocolate. Okay, let's have a quick quiz. I'm going to ask you some questions and you're gonna pick either unlike or dislike. Okay, are you ready? Number one, blank. Her sister, Sarah, loves to read science fiction novels. The answer is unlike. Unlike her sister, 
Sarah likes to read science fiction novels. This is comparing Sarah and her sister. They're different. Number two, he really blank the taste of cilantro on his food. Great, the answer is dislike. He really dislikes the taste of cilantro in his food. Okay, let's try one more. Blank, last year's event. This one was well-organized and on time. Great job. Here, we should use unlike. Unlike last year's event, this one was well organized and on time. Here we are comparing both events, last year's event and this year's event. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys some homework. These are practice exercises. You can write them in a notebook or you can comment them under this video. Whatever you prefer is okay. I want you to create two sentences, one using unlike and one using dislike. I'll give you some prompts so it's a little easier. So the first one, think of two hobbies that you and a friend have. Use the word unlike to show how they are different. And the second one, write a sentence about a food that you don't like. Use dislike to show your preference. Thank you guys so much for participating in today's lesson. Again, if you want free lessons or you want to join my courses, go to breezeenglishstudio.com. Okay, I'll see you in our next lesson. Bye everyone. Hi students, I just wanted to review very quickly at the end here. Remember, unlike is a preposition. It means different from or not similar to. And we use it to compare two or more things, highlighting their differences. Dislike is a verb, and it means to not like or to have an aversion to. Dislike expresses a negative feeling or lack of enjoyment towards someone or something. Very important points to remember. Again, don't forget your challenge. All you have to do is write down two sentences. If you write it in the comments, I will be sure to reply to you. I will check your grammar. I will check if you are using unlike and dislike correctly. So don't forget this challenge. Remember, practice is very important. Practice makes perfect or close to perfect. So. I can't wait to see your sentences. See you in our next lesson. Bye everyone.